Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard. Today's video needs absolutely no introduction because today's video is all about the brand new FX Impact M4. We're gonna take this gun out today to do a little bit of review and hunt with it and see what it is made of. Now, I'm not gonna stand here and waste too much time. I think let's just go out there and jump straight into it. Anchor that one, perfect shot. Love it. Ow, 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 ow. There's another one there. Game over. Smoked, another one down, perfect shot. Now first impressions, when you're gonna see this M4 for the very first time, is most likely gonna be that it looks very similar to the previous M3 model. And there's a good reason why it looks like this. FX wanted to keep the shape of this gun and the overall look the same, because everybody loved the shape of the FX Impact. It's been a shape that has made this gun stand out on any shooting bench out there or in any hunting field. The one thing that will definitely stand out here is the brand new copper color on this gun. This color will be offered as a standard on the M4 alongside the old school black as well. Now, if you really want to see what FX has done to this gun, then you need to come a little bit closer to see what the upgrade is on the new M4. <laughs> Yo, splat! What a beauty, 144 yards. Headshots all the way, my man. Headshots all the way. Easy, easy, easy. No one through the head. Now, when you move closer to the M4 here, you will see a difference in the way that they've designed the Picatinny rail and the top rail on this gun. Now, what FX has done here is they've incorporated a dovetail system on top of this top rail here. Now, this dovetail serves two purposes. Number one, it adds a lot of strength to the top rail, and that means it gives a lot of rigidity to the whole gun, and it gives the ability to move the Picatinny rail now backwards and forwards. It would make it a lot easier for all the hunters out there now to get any kind of scope fitted on this gun. <laughs> Lay down, be quiet now. No chance. 
no chance. Oh, yes. Oh, every single time. Love when a starling goes down. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Lovely shot. Now, if we have a look at the back of the gun, you will see that FX has now machined a big window in here. Now, this window gives you easy access now to your probe system if you want to remove the probe or if you want to do any kind of adjustments. It just makes life now much easier here to work. Another thing that FX has done here is they've designed a brand new magazine. Now, this magazine has a ball bearing system in it and it makes this system now very awesome if you want to use heavier slugs. Also something that I also noticed is on the inside of the magazine, there's small little indents where you can put your finger in now and it makes it much easier to rotate the magazine as well. A nice little touch from FX here. <laughs> nice little headshot there. Spectacular. Love it. Right through the head. That's what you call a tombstone hit, straight out. In the head, straight down. Now, if we move forward, the next thing that you will see is the new bigger power plenum on here. They have increased the plenum size by three cc's, and that of course is gonna add a little bit more power to your system as well. In front of the power plenum, you will see a new style grip. Now, this grip is not an aftermarket grip. This is the standard grip that you're gonna get with the new N4. The grip is very nice. I do like it a lot. It is much wider than the previous standard grip. It has better stippling on it, and that means you will have a nice firm grasp when you're holding this grip in your hand. Oh, yes. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> I love smacking Starlings, it's just so awesome. Easy shot, easy. <laughs> like clockwork.
All right, guys, now we're going to get to one of the best upgrades for me on the new M4 Impact. And that, of course, is this new Quick Set Trigger System. Now, that Quick Set Trigger System has been newly designed by Frederick Axelson, and it is very much ingenious, in my opinion. Now, let me explain to you what he has done. He's taken one trigger system that you can quickly adjust for very fine competition shooting, meaning it has a very light let off, crisp break, and everything is buttonly smooth. Or you can quickly set it from that system over to a hunting mode, which is a very hard trigger, a medium let off, hard let off, or with a long or short stage break very quickly. Now, usually you can't do this with one trigger system. You either have to go uh, full competition or full hunting, or you have to be somewhere in the middle. But he got it in such a way that you can do both sides 100%. Lethal shot that. Just too easy. This gun shoots lights out. Lights out. Headshot. So the last upgrade which I want to point out for you guys on the new M4 Impact is of course the new regulator system that FX is now using on this gun. Now first off, they have removed the first regulator behind the bottle, which you used to get on the M3 Impact. Now the reason for this is that they have replaced the Delrin piston in the main regulator body with a brass piston. Now what this brass system adds to the system is of course a lot of strength. That brass piston can handle much higher regulator pressures. And that means you do not need that first regulator anymore. <laughs> what a beauty. Another one in the head. Another headshot. Go to sleep. <laughs> that one just grazed him. <laughs> but still enough to put him down. Alright, so we've reached the end of the video and this is obviously the part where I'm going to give you my personal feedback on the new M4 FX Impact. Now I'm going to base my feedback on three points on here. And first off, it's going to be the appearance of the gun. Number two, it's going to be hunting uh, capabilities. And number three, competition shooting capabilities. First off, if I look at a gun, it needs to have the appeal to it that I want to shoot it. Now, if I look at the gun, I can actually say it looks like this gun came back from a customized shop because of the new Picatinny design on top, because of the color that the gun is, and the, just the ergonomics on this gun just looks good. Everything fits. I think FX did a really good job with the appearance of this gun. And because it's like that, I want to shoot it. I want to have it. So that's number one. Number two, on a hunting level, I will say, in my opinion, if I have to choose between my M3, M4, there's no difference for me between the two guns. Um, my M3 can do exactly what the M4 can do and vice versa. The M4 can do what the M3 can do. Uh, they are on an equal playing field over there. 
And then moving to the third point, and that's obviously competition shooting capabilities. And this is where I think the M4 rises above the M3. Two leading factors to this, of course, is the new quick set trigger system, uh, which Frederick designed, which is fantastic. It's a complete different world when you're you, you know, working with this trigger on this gun. It just changed this whole gun for me. And if you, um, you know, if you link it up with a new regulator system, the new piston they've added, the consistency that this gun gives you as well, it's just a perfect, perfect gun that's been built for competition shooting. That's my opinion, I think, on this gun. And that's where I'm actually going to leave it. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.